What's up, Gospel Gangsta? What's happening? Hey, I'm just out here trying to bring love and hope to YouTube land. That's right. And hey, I wanted to tell you a little story about how come I believe in Jesus. Because I didn't always believe in Jesus. And I want you to know that God loves you. That's right. He loves you. And you know, God will make himself real to you. See, you're not expected to believe in something that's not real. But Jesus is real. God is real. God is real to me, and he's real to millions and millions of, the, of other people all over the world. So I'm going to tell you real quick why I believe in God. First of all, when I was in high school, I started to get sick. Now, this was way back in 1992. I was a senior in high school. I started to have all this weird stuff going on with my body. I started to have night sweats. I started to get this red stuff growing up all over my arms. And, and, and uh, it was like this weird rash looking thing. And man, something was wrong with me. You know, but I was from an unbelieving family. We didn't believe in God. We didn't have Jesus. And uh, so I come to find out that I had HIV. That's right, HIV AIDS. And I was like, man, how'd I get this, man? I'm just, a, I'm just in high school. I was just a teenager. I ain't never did no, no IV drugs. I didn't know it. Man, I ain't never been with a man. But somehow I had it. And the only way I could figure out was one of my girlfriends in high school. Man, is that crazy or what? So here I am, teenager, and I'm dying of AIDS. And you know what? Keep in mind, this was way back in 1992. They didn't even have a name for it until 86. I probably contracted it probably in 1990 because I was active, I was sexually active, you know, as a teenager. I was dying of AIDS. I got tested at the clinic. Man, I tell you right now, that was probably the hardest time of my life. I remember I would cry almost every day. Man, I remember that. It was so difficult because I was, I kept thinking in my head, what's gonna happen when I die? What's gonna happen when I die? I kept trying to think how if I could just go back in time and tell myself, don't mess around. Don't, don't mess around, just stay away, you know. But you know what, I couldn't. And one day we were driving by a church. Now at the time I was, I was into drugs too. I was into stealing, drugs and alcohol, partying. Matter of fact, my parents even kicked me out of the house. That was even before I knew I had HIV. As a matter of fact, my life was already rough. My life was already, <laughs> man, my parents kicked me out. I was addicted to drugs. My ex-girlfriends were angry at me. Maybe some of them even knew I had HIV. Maybe they got it from me. I don't know, but all I know is, man, my life was hard. And at that time, then I found out I had HIV. And life was even harder. But you know what? God revealed himself to me. He came into my life and he saved me. I'm talking, and I'm telling you the truth. I walked around for, for, for months saying, I can't believe, I believe in Jesus. I couldn't believe it. I was like, man, I even remember making fun of the other Christians. There was one guy who was a Christian. Man, we made fun of him. We pushed him around in the locker room. Man, we, we kind of were like bullies to him. And man, now all of a sudden, I'm a Christian. All of a sudden, God is real to me. Now you might say, how God may make himself real to you? Here's what it was. I'll just tell you. 
I was smoking a little bit of weed one day and sitting there thinking about what's gonna happen when I die. And maybe you need to think about that. What's gonna happen when you die? Are you going to heaven? Well, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, man, what's gonna happen when I die? And all I could think is, man, it's so weird how there's good and there's evil. There's right and there's wrong. There's light and there's dark. There's positive and there's negative. And that's all I could think, man. I kept, I kept tripping on it. And then one day we're driving by a church and outside the church had a little billboard that said something. I don't even know what it said. All I know is right when I thought, God, I thought, where did we come from? All of a sudden the word God just jumped out of me from that church. And as I looked out the window, cause we were driving by in a car, all I could think is, wow, there really is a God and God is real. And the minute I believed that for the first time, the minute I believed it for the first time, the power of God touched me. And I'm telling you, I've never been the same since then. As a matter of fact, nobody ever told me about Jesus. After I knew that God was real, I said my first prayer, I said, God, show me the way and I will follow. And you know what? God, by the Spirit of God, led me to Jesus. That's right. That's right. So I know God is real, and I know Jesus is the Lord. As a matter of fact, I know that the Bible is God's truth, and that anybody who seeks to find God, the Holy Spirit will lead you to the Holy Bible. Yeah. So now, when I first got saved, I thought, well, great, I'm saved now. I thought I was saved so that I could go to heaven. I thought, okay, now I'm ready to die. Because I still had HIV AIDS, I was still showing symptoms. I was still sick. But you know what? God is good. Because it wasn't but a couple of months later that the, it started to go away. Now, I still had the HIV in my blood but thank God I wasn't sick. And you know what? I walked around for a couple of weeks all depressed and sad because I thought I'm dying of AIDS. But you know what? I had no hope until one thing. I remember the day I had hope. You see, the Lord, he kind of challenged me. Back then, he said, what would you do if you didn't have HIV AIDS? And I remember thinking about it, thinking, man, if I didn't have HIV, I would just go to college and plan for the future. But see, with HIV in my blood, there was no point in going to college because I was just coming out of high school. And I remember the day I had hope was the day I believed in God and started planning for a future. So I chose to go to college. And that's what gave me hope because I believed that God would, would do something in my life so I just want to encourage anybody watching this. First of all, God loves you. Second, if you were to die right now, would you go to heaven? Third, if you are sick or you need healing, do you believe that God can heal you? And I'm telling you right now, he can. Now all this happened in 1992. Man, the AC just turned on. It just messed up my video. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget about that. Okay, so I'm gonna, I want you to pray right now with me to receive Jesus as your savior. And then he's gonna make himself real to you. And then if you need healing, I'm gonna pray that God will heal you, okay? All right, so now for forgiveness of sins, say this prayer, say, Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sin. Say, Jesus, make yourself real to me and change my life forever. Okay, now, if you just ask God for forgiveness of sins, I tell you, if you were sincere and you were real when you said it, that your sins are forgiven and you got a fresh start with God. Now, if you need healing, I'm going to pray right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray anybody watching this who needs healing, I pray that you will heal them, oh God. Touch them right now.